only 41 years, but he made an impact. And as I said earlier, in every community, people are assigned with many responsibilities, but some are good at anything and everything that stands to them. They, they fit in every pair of shoes that is given to them. They are fathers when they should be fathers, friends when they should be friends, and of course, they don't take their work and things for granted at all. Comrade Dumont has left a legacy, and we want to pray that many will emulate it. He was not the only journalist in Ghana. He was not the only journalist at BBC. But as a young man, he was able to allow himself to become a, an instrument and a channel of blessing to many. We just want to thank God. And Kobla will say, fare thee well. We love you. We miss you. We are crying. We are mourning. But God loves you most. And it is not for us to decide when you should be called. And may your soul rest in perfect peace. And the GJA president, Afemoni, has also been paying glowing tribute to the late Komla Dumo. The quality of a man's life is not measured by its duration, but by its contribution to humanity. Even though Komna closed his innings at 41, the, uh, Sami Hesse at 35, they have contributed immensely to better the lot of humanity in terms of quality and distinctive works which we all consumed. So we, even in death, we continue to extol the, their performance, their excellence in journalism. I believe this will model the way for present and future generations of journalists. May their souls rest in perfect peace. And more tributes keep pouring in. Let's bring you this one from Kuchu Yanka. We have lost you physically, the family family is devastated, but I would like to console the family that we have not lost him. At the African University College of Communications, where I happen to be founder, I believe that we will have symbols that will represent all that Komla stood for. Ghana as a whole will remember him for the many, many symbols that will be left behind. I know that preparations have been made to establish the Komla Dumo Foundation. BBC has already announced setting up the Cobna Dumo Foundation. Those will be avenues through which some of the great virtues that Cobna left will be manifested. And as long as there are people who are prepared to write, there are prepared, those who are prepared to document, and for those who are prepared to learn, there will be many, many more things that we probably do not know now that will come out uh, later. That will be the study of journalism, the practice of journalism in Ghana and elsewhere. And uh, the family and all those who are very close to him will be prouder that he did not die in vain. Kojo Yanka is the board chairman of TV3. And meanwhile, AIDS broadcaster Tommy Annan Forsen has also paid tribute to Komla Dumo, saying he lived an exemplary life.
Kamla, today is a very difficult day for all of us. I never thought I would sit in front of camera and wish you farewell. I rather thought that sometime to come, I will sit in front of camera and say, Kamla, 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 congratulations. You've done so well. We are so proud of you. But death laid its icy hands on you at a time when you had taken the world by storm. At a time when you had opened the world and told the world that this is Africa. I am an African. You took the world by storm and put Africa on a different pedestal. We are so proud of you. But why at this age? God knew best. Kamla, our hearts are broken. We'll be broken for a long time. You and I, flesh and blood, what can I say? And to say that God knows best. As you up in heaven looking down upon us with the smile that was so infectious on TV, that is a smile we will never forget. For now, to the family, we say God richly protects you, guide you, comfort you. To you, Kamla, we say farewell. Someday we shall meet. We shall give each other a hug, but in spirit. Komla, Demifegi, Demifegi, Demifegi. Ghana loves you, Africa loves you, the world loves you. Komla, rest in perfect peace. Remember, you can also send us your messages on Facebook or Twitter.com slash news on TV3. Let's now hear from the former GJA president, Gifty Afinidazin. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. And I believe that Kamala exemplifies this. So I say that may God keep them in his bosom. And a Kamala Dumor Foundation has been set up by the Dumor family to sustain the legacy of Kamala Dumor. Coming up, we now hear from Esther Kobashi, a spokesperson of the Dumor family. It's clear that Komla has left a worldwide legacy. Uh, Komla's life has touched many. And uh, what was done here, for me, recognizes that. And recognizes the fact that Komla lived in faith. Komla loved his God. And therefore, his exhibition of excellence through his work was only to glorify the name of the Lord. So we have glorified the name of the Lord. And what I would say is, let, as the pastor said, let Kamala's life be a lesson to each and every one of us so that we use our God-given talent to his glory to touch people and to make, bring meaning to people's lives. Mm -hmm. 